And Bree, that is the latest in sport. Thank you, Tom. Well, it was cooler than previous days, but still hot and humid. A couple of milder ones ahead before the heat is set to return. Right now in town, it's 24 degrees and humidity is 64%. Perth dropped to 23 just before 6 o'clock this morning, rising to a top of 32.5 around a quarter to 12. The state's cooler spot was Eucla with a minimum of 12 degrees. The state's highest maximum of 46 reached at Marble Bar. Patchy cloud over the northwest with a trough is generating some showers and thunderstorms, generally clearer skies elsewhere with a hot and dry air mass and high pressure. On the synoptic, a deep heat trough moving east over the Gascoyne and Goldfield should pass into South Australia by tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, the northern end of a weak cold front is crossing the southwest corner, bringing those cooler temperatures, with a new trough expected to deepen down the west coast around midweek, bringing back heat to the area. A quick look around the country's capitals tomorrow. Sunny and hot days set for Adelaide, Melbourne and Canberra. Temperatures in the mid to high 30s. Some cloud about for Sydney and Brisbane. Tops of 32 with a possible shower and 33 set for Darwin. Back to WA and in the north, chance of showers and gusty thunderstorms over the inland Kimberley. Fresh and gusty winds about coastal parts of the Pilbara. Very hot from the inland Pilbara through the interior. Fresh and gusty winds about coastal parts of the Gascoyne, southwest land division and throughout the Eucla and south interior. Chance of showers over southern coastal districts east of Windy Harbour. Cooler conditions in the east and southwest land division, southern goldfields and Eucla. In Perth, cloud clearing a top of 27 after an overnight low of 15. Sunrise will be at 17 minutes to 6, setting at 16 past 7. And looking ahead, a cooler one for Monday with a top of 28 before it's set to heat up again. The second half of the week, quite hot for Perth, a top of 41 set for Friday. And finally tonight, formal volunteering numbers have been in decline over the past few years, but a small life-saving club on the far south coast of New South Wales has found a way to buck that trend. A change in how they roster volunteers has had profound effects, and now others are following suit. Six years ago, this small-town surf life-saving club was dangerously understaffed. We were having a lot of trouble meeting our patrol obligations here on the beach. But a simple roster change has almost quadrupled their volunteer numbers. We were so surprised at how successful it was. It essentially left us with no gaps. The Bermakiwi Club now lets members choose when they patrol. With the roster, I got to choose my dates that I preferred. Um, so I made sure that most of my patrols were during uh, the school breaks. The retention's much higher too because if people have been given a choice about the times that work for them, then they're far more likely to, uh, to be there as well. Formal volunteering numbers have been on a downward trend Australia-wide since 2019. Between 2020 and 2023, rates across New South Wales declined by more than 5%. Bermagui was the first surf life-saving club in the state to let volunteers choose when they patrol. Other clubs have since adopted the change. Organisations that are successful are the ones that are willing to be flexible with what they expect from their volunteers. Advocates are certain that the motivation to volunteer is as strong as ever. Our research shows us that the number one reason people want to be involved is to help. Um, so people are out there, they want to help. It's just a matter of finding a way to utilise them and keep everyone happy. And this Little Surf Life Saving Club has found a way to do just that. Floss Adams, ABC News, Bermagui. And that's ABC News for this Saturday evening. Tom and I will be back with you tomorrow. In the meantime, you can stay up to date with ABC News Online or you can catch up anytime on ABC iView. It's been a pleasure having your company. Take care and bye for now.